not gonna play to win, where we play to win. I'm Dylan. And I'm Cameron. This week, we're here to figure out which Quark deck is best in CEDH with our friend Ken from Stacked EDH. My name is Ken Bauman. I run the channel Stacked EDH. We make videos about Commander, both casual and competitive on YouTube. I publish the website CEDH.guide, an introductory set of resources for folks curious about CEDH. I run the Quark Discord. I maintain three Quark primers. And then outside the world of magic, I'm a writer. You can find information about my books at KenBauman.com. And maybe when this video comes out, Maybe I'll be running the Kickstarter. So you can find out more about it at uh, kinbama.com. So first up, we have me on Quark Timna. Tyler's playing Quark Vasios. Cam is on Quark Silas. And Ken's on classic Quark and Sakashima. I'll start us off. Draw a card. Command Tower. Cast Chromox. Pitch Diabolic Intent. Cast Quark. Nice. So far, and so good. Pass yep. turn. Rough. I'm going to play a Misty. Crack said Misty for a Trop Island. And I'm going to cast a Mystic Remora. Pass to you, Cam. All right. I will get a draw. I'll play a Verdant. And I will crack it right away, going down to 39. Underground C. And mm -hmm. I'm going to feed fish just once. Just once. Unbelievable. Imperial Seal. <laughs> Uh -huh. I will draw for Mystic. It's not Force. I'm just kidding. I already have Force in your hand. Two of them. Sick. Uh, oh, yeah, both? Yeah, cool. cool. Yep. <laughs> there you go. Let me get a card. Lose two life going down to 37, and I will pass the turn. Draw. Play a Fiery Islet. Lose a life. Cast a Fish of My Own. Draw. Yes, not paying at all. I will also pass the turn. Untap. Draw card. Let's not feed the fish and dig our way out of this mulligan at the same time. Play a Badlands. Cast Timna. I guess Cameron just M sealed and lost some life. So Cameron, I'm gonna attack you for two. 35. I will lose one life and draw one card in my second main going to 39. Fast turn. Untap. I am going to let fish die. Draw off for turn. Play a polluted delta. Bolt myself in order to go find a land. Going with an untapped stomping ground. Tavern scoundrel. Cast the turn. All right, go to mine. Changing plans slightly. Crack a flooded turn going down to 34. Four. I have to get Volcanic Island. If it makes y'all feel any better about this fish, I'm absolutely looking for a second land. <laughs> Don't give it to him. I'm gonna cast the Carpet Pass. Nice, I'm gonna pay and lose a life in my upkeep and then I'll draw. I'm gonna cast a Lotus Petal. Crack the Lotus Petal for a red, cast a Rite of Flame. Oh, okay, yes. Cast Crook. And if that's okay, I'll pass. Untap, draw card. Ken, I'm gonna attack you for two and with the Timna and Cameron, I'll attack you for two with my Crook. Yes, you gotta block it. No, no blocks. I'm gonna trade. Really? Oh, wow, yeah. sick. That's crazy. Okay, That's yeah, sure. Crazy. <laughs> One of the best ways to get full value out of Timna is to make your opponents block. And more often than not, they're not going to block, especially if it involves a trade. They're not gonna wanna lose their one commander for your commander, except sometimes it does bite you in the ass when people like Cameron decide that they do in fact wanna block. Hey, I'm the ad nauseum deck. I need to protect my life total a little bit here and keeping you from getting cards is also nice too. I will gain two life. Second main phase, I'll lose life and draw a card. Ten year ascent is not a list now. I want you to know that. Yeah, I know. I know. It's true. I've always <laughs> been on it though. <laughs> so it's all right. Are you guys going to feed the fish? Again, I'm looking for a second. I am land. not going to feed the fish. I might. It depends on what you do. If you feed the fish, Dylan, I will feed the fish. Oh, and I if see. The both There's of you like are feeding fish. Game. I'm definitely going to feed fish. Oh, interesting. So, Dylan, they're just asking you to fall on the sword and not advance your game state in the Mardu deck that is all in. Mm -hmm. This is kind of a weird, this is like a weird thing. So let me, how many cards are in everyone's hand? Five. Four. Five. I'm not sure if this is right, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to fragmentize the Mystic Grimora. Oh, sick. Draw a card? Yes. I'll respond to the fragmentize, and I want to cast a Deflecting Swat, Fuck. targeting the fragmentize, triggering Fuck. the card for Thumbless. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, uh, is anyone... Help, help, help. <laughs> I no, know. don't help. No, don't help. I don't have any response to this. I don't have anything for it. I'm yep. sorry. Yeah, All yeah. Right. pass. All right, sick. I love that trigger token. Where did you get that? That's beyond the Machina. And then That's on the back, awesome. it's got uh, count three. I'm going to cast it again. Get the same trigger. Two, copy a deflecting swat targeting fragmentize. Yep, no response. All right, I want to change that fragmentize to that chrome mox. Flow to black and yes. Okay, and then uh, the original SWAT will fizzle. At least SWAT's down. Yeah, it's true. That couldn't have gone much worse. This is your punishment for trying to play any form of control and reactivity <laughs> in that deck. Yeah. I was like, do I destroy the thing, if, like saving can a bunch of cards, or do I leave it there assuming that no one else will cast spells into it? I'm like, what, do, who do I trust more? I don't I don't know yeah. if I trust them to not feed it. Yep, fair. I'm going to pass turn. Untap for your offer turn. Volcanic Island, cast a crook. Cameron, I will pass to you. I will go to my turn, get a draw. Everything looks a little bit sad out there. Don't feed it because he can't pay for the remora on his turn anyway. Yeah, I know. 
now. I'm gonna play a tapped watery grave. If I don't do this now, I'm not gonna get any value off of it. Yeah, don't let them bully. I'm gonna cast a dockside extortionist and get oh. a treasure. How come sometimes goblins are goblins and sometimes goblins are monkeys? I know this is like an Ixalan goblin and this is what they look like, but that's a fucking monkey. It's, there's no goblin traits whatsoever. I don't understand. It's a goblin pirate, not a goblin monkey pirate. Yeah, that a fucking monkey. See? What did I say? Okay, I'll let the fish die. Speaking of dockside extortionist here, have you ever seen one so sad? <laughs> I'll draw for turn. I think I just play this snow-covered island. Pass the turn. Go to me. Untap. Draw card. Combat. Ken, I'll hit you with Timna again. No blocks. Second main, I'll lose life and draw card. Hope you all have interaction for Tyler. Play Polluted Delta. Play Lion's Eye Diamond. Cast Wish Claw Talisman. Dibs. <laughs> No, <laughs> <laughs> absolutely do not get it. Can't Can't shut turn. the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> In your end step, Dill, cast a chain of vapor targeting Ken's crook. Nice, I'll respond. I have a crook trigger on the stack. Oh yeah, let's let's just respond to that crook trigger and let's start the fight. Because uh, dog fights are fun. I'm going to cast Submerge for its alternate cost, targeting your uh, Tavern Scoundrel, and I have a Kirk the Thumbless Trigger. Must be nice. Guess whose deck feels really stupid with a Submerge right now. <laughs> yeah, let's roll here. One, I'll cast it again. And same, same target. Three, I'll cast it again. Five, cast it again. Four, copy a Submerge, and I'm going to point the copy at Kirk. My Kirk? Yep. Oof. I have no responses to any of that. I'm going to zone it. Original resolves targeting yep. Tavern Scoundrel. I still have the Kirk flip on chain. I do get to chain two. Ooh. Are you going to put a picture of two chains up there? No. And the new one is going to point at... I think Wish Claw, right? Because it's yeah, it's, it's, it's three so mana to, to not draw a card or three mana to tutor anything. That's... Yep. Still pointing at Wish Claw. You got it. No, I will not copy chain. Kirk's in my hand. My turn? Yep. Still yes. passing. On top, I will draw this mystery card. I'm going to play a Taiga. I'll cast the Tavern Scoundrel. Cast a Thresios. I will pass. All right, so it turns out Dockside would have just gotten me one treasure on this turn, too. Yeah. yeah. We are going to put a Arcane Signet onto the stack. Pass. I'll draw. Play an Ancient Tomb. I'm going to lose three life. I'm going to 31. Recast Kirk. I'll use the Colorless Floating in this Snow-Covered Island to put a Snap on the stack, targeting Timna, and I have a Kirk trigger. Evens, evens, evens. That's a four. Or copy a snap. I'm going to point the copy at Tavern Scoundrel. I will respond. I'm going to fetch Pluto Delta, Blood Crypt, Shock, cast Red Elemental Blast on the snap that is targeting my Timna. Yep, that makes sense. I have no response to that. And then I will untap this uh, island and this fiery islet. That is going to be it for me. Go to my turn. Untap, draw card. Go to combat. Ken, keep an eye on you. You got it. Block the goddamn damn. Ah! <laughs> no, never, never. Never. I'll go to six, Timna. Uh, gain two, and then lose the life of my second main and draw card. I'll play a plateau, and I will cast a four mana Kark the Thumbless. I will pass my turn. I'm scared that a four mana Kark is better for you than a Wish Claw right now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm going to cast a Mox Hope, because why not? And then I'm going to also cast a four mana Kark. That's it. Pass the turn. Go to my turn. Get a draw. I'd like to cast an ad nauseum. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> Sounds okay. good. Pass priority. Yes, pass priority. Pass priority. Alrighty. I'm at 34 here. And seven. Keep going. I'm gonna go one more. Zero. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Well, he's good. So keep going then because nothing changed. No, that's not necessarily true. Well, if you were gonna go keep going before, might as well keep going now. No, that's not necessarily true. <laughs> um, I'm gonna stop here. You hit a lot of threes and fours in that Nas. Yeah, four Sewell was in that pile too. <laughs> so I can play, yeah, Ancient Tomb, cast Lotus Petal, cast Lion's Eye Diamond, cast Jewel Lotus, cast Cataxium Probe targeting Cat. Losing Sounds good. Two life going down to five. Would you like me to show the class? Yes, please. All right, here's an Odawara that I fucked up and didn't untap my Ancient Tomb for. A Heat Shimmer and a Grape Shot. <laughs> Get a draw. Mm, I should have kept going. Um, what did I fucking say? I think it would have made more sense to just continue to Agnaws instead of stopping here just because I was at seven. I think a lot of times players, and I mean, clearly me in this circumstance too, just get really nervous once you get to seven because you know you have Peer into the Abyss in the deck end. Sometimes you want to have a little bit of a cushion for cards like Vampiric Tutor or Gitaxian Probe that you still want to be able to cast. My average CMC is less than two, so I probably could have kept going before statistically this would have been a major problem. Oh, oh. 
tap two. Go to three? Yes, go to three. Yeah. Crack that for black. I'm gonna put a Tainted Pact on the stack with one mana floating. With Tainted Pact, I'm gonna hold priority and I'm going to crack LED for three red. There it is. Can you even get there uh, now? If you'll notice, Stasis Oracle was in that pile of exiled cards. Praetor's Grasp still, right? I mean, I ain't fucking running the Oracle. What's in everyone's graveyard? Romox, Fragmentized, Polluted Delta, Red Elemental Blast. Mr. Primora, Chain of Vapor, Lamps. I have a Snap, a Submerge, a Fish, a Deflecting Swat, a Rite of Flame, and a Lotus Petal. I'm gonna use one of the red and this colorless to cast this Underworld Breach. Casting LED, exiling mm -hmm. three lands. I mean, you could presumably just do Twin Flame stuff with Harmonic Prodigy and Karks. Here's a question for you. I don't think I'm playing that stuff. Not a question. <laughs> <laughs> I think oh, sick. I, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think what I have to do... You're not playing Twin Flame? No. Crack LED for three blue. Escape a Mystical Tutor. Exiling three cards. Well, I think I might be out of this game. <laughs> Oh no! I think I might have exiled all of my potential win conditions. You're fucked. Yep. I don't run like a super ton, large amount of win conditions because I didn't think I'd put myself in this position today. Yeah, shit. Well, I'm fucked. Okay. The only things that are like worthwhile that could do something is like doubt the void walker at this point, but I have nothing. I'm, I'm just gonna leave that there. Are you allowed to fail to find with Mystical Tutor? Because I'm pretty sure I just gave up and did that. I'm gonna recast LED, exile three cards, crack it for three blue, crack this for three red, use one of the blue, recast Kark, recast LED, exiling three to cast Silas. I'll still have one more floating, so I can cast LED three more cards to crack it for three red and have just enough to end up with Storm Kiln Artist in play. So now I can block, I'm gonna end the turn and pass. So here's where everything went wrong in the scope of things. Uh, number one, it was a very risky line. I did end up exiling my Thassa's Oracle and the Brain Freeze as well. The other thing is that I did purposefully shave on some of the other win conditions that are usually prevalent in Krark decks. Yeah, a lot of times it is probably correct to have as few win conditions conditions as possible but sometimes if you're in tainted pact or demonic consultation decks it might be helpful to have one or two extra win conditions or pseudo win conditions i mean some games you're just gonna lose and you kind of have to accept that you're just gonna lose a certain amount of games and that's okay but it might be good to have a couple backup plans if you're looking to aggressively tainted pact okay untap up keep draw i'll lose three more life and go to 26 cast dockside extortionist four treasures total yeah it doesn't matter if it's smart or not playing odawara is my land for turn crack four treasures to cast Sakashima. And Sakashima is gonna be a Krark. I think I just pass. Untap, upkeep, draw card. Seeing an Underworld Breach in a grave like that makes me sad. I know, it's so close. <laughs> it oh, looks so have, sad. You have looks no so idea sad. how this <laughs> used to make me feel. <laughs> cast Jessica's will, trigger card. Oh, Are you gonna nice. target me? I have zero cards in my hand. I have two. I have four. Target Tyler. Card trigger. Yeah. Fails. That's back to hand. Sick. Great. Great. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. So combat. Ken, I'm just going to come at you with Tim and see what you do. How many cards do you have in hand? Five cards in hand. That's a pretty good amount of cards. Well, you have the Wish Claw. So what's one more fucking card? Yeah. Yeah, but you can't cast the Wish Claw right now. Did you play land for turn? Not yet. Not yet. Nah, fuck it. No blocks. Hell yeah, I take it. I take two. I go to eight, Timna, and Tyler continues to, to hate me in his heart. Gain two life and then lose one life in my second main phase. I'm going to Infernal Plunge, sacrificing Timna as an additional cost. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get trigger card. Trigger. I'll be damned. I like it. I'm not going to attack next turn anyway, because no one's going to have a, a field yeah. or Ken's going to win. So we're going to try to make something happen now a little bit. So Infernal Plunge, let's see. That's a copy. Three mana, and then another three mana. I'll use three of it to cast Jessica's Will. Let's see if we can get lucky again. Targeting Tyler again, yeah. card trigger. Back to hand. One more shot. Uh, one more shot. Use that three red mana, cast Jessica's Will again. Da -da -da. Card trigger. And that's a copy of Jessica's Will. Nice. Oh, Jessica's Will copy. Four red mana from Tyler. And three cards. Lotus Petal. Professor Onyx and Mana Vault. And then the original Jessica's Will. Four red mana and three cards. Professional Facebreaker, Harmonic Prodigy, Mox Diamond. Wonder if I should have 
Oh, no, I, I couldn't have done this before combat because the Infernal Plunge is the card that I drew. Okay, so let's use one of this red mana. Go down to seven, cast Mana Vault. Also, I will cast Lotus Petal. Also, some other things will happen. What will they be? I forget. Did you wind up adding Chain of Smog? I did, yes. Okay, nice. I talked with Ken a little bit about this deck before I went ahead and built it because Ken is the one who built this deck originally. And in my original rendition, Professor Onyx was one of the cards that I cut, but he kind of talked me into putting it back into the deck. And at this point, I'm really glad that I did. Yeah. But I don't have enough black yet for um, yeah, Onyx, but I, I do with the LED. Yeah. But I also have to wish claw for it. But this is three black, which is enough. So crack the lotus petal and use one of this red here and cast the wish claw talisman. Dibs. <laughs> <laughs> Comes in with three counters. So thinking of the best way to do this. Just as a PSA, you would have to win a card flip on the chain of smog. That is true. Yes. But if I play Harmonic Prodigy, I have extra chances. Absolutely. Fucking move. There we go. <laughs> use two more red, cast Harmonic Prodigy. Use another red here and activate wish claw talisman. Dibs. Give it to give it to Cameron. <laughs> give giving it, to Cameron. it to, giving it to Cameron. Holding priority. <laughs> cracking lines. I diamond for three black. Discarding nice. demonic consultation. Dual caster mage. Wheel of fortune. Sick. Boop boop. You have the wish claw talisman. I'm allowed to go tutor. No one said anything. So watch out. Storm kilns a five two. We're in trouble. It's over. <laughs> Remember when he said what he drew was infernal plunge. Did you draw the Infernal Plunge? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. sick. Yep, I'm a, I'm a big dummy dumb. <laughs> yep, this. big, big, big dumb dumb. Find a secret card. Leaving two red floating, cast Professor Onyx. Nice. Use one black and one red. Cast Chain of Smog, targeting myself. Trigger Kark twice because of Harmonic Prodigy. Trigger Professor Onyx, drain everyone for two, and I gain two. Okay, so if there's two lost flips, we survive. All right, let's see what happens. First Kark trigger. That's a back to hand. All we need is one more. And second one. Okay, here we go. Work it, work it, work, work it. Work it, work it. That's a copy. Ah, All right. nice. <laughs> copy, nice. everyone lose another two. And then when it okay. targets me, okay. I will copy it again. Copy Chain of Smog a thousand times and Professor Onyx will drain the table. Nice work. Yeah. What you got there? I'm glad I put Professor Onyx back in. Good call, Ken. Yeah, yeah, thank you, thank you. That was a mulligan to four. Good, that's a good thing to remember. That was a mulligan to four. Timna is fucking good. I, I think I said enough about my deck. <laughs> this is the obviously definitive proof that Timna, not Sakashima, is the best Kark commander. Obviously, that is hyperbole and not true. Small sample size, but either way, Mardu Timna is going to be good, and Kark whatever is going to be good. So good things can happen when you mix two good partners. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to support us directly, you can do so at Patreon, like our $50 patrons. <laughs> Shrek! I'm looking down. <laughs> I feel like some of you make your names on Patreon's weird just so you'll hear me say them. Russ Helms, Jacona Stoneburner, That Green Guy, Plantain Jackson, Isaiah Berliski, Michael Lyon, Kyle Levenberg, George Allen, Jukai, Byron Wang, C, Kawaja Ahmed, Jacob Depp, Unforeseen God, CZ, Michael Ballou, Jan Wildfang, Adrian Grimm, Sleepy Jarvis, Swampy McGee, Peter Larson, Nocturnal Beaver, Jormags, Ugly, Moxfield, and baby jeepus. Check out our bonfire store for our t-shirt, sweatshirts, and the rest of the play to win apparel too. If you want to check out any of the cards you saw today, you can do so at our TCG Player affiliate link down below. Our Alter Sleeves affiliate link gets you 5% off your order. Check that out down below too. If you want to pick up any Dragon Shield product that'll really help support the channel, you can do so at our affiliate link. And playtowinmtg.com still has our coins and our OG play mats around. And keep an eye out because come in August, we're getting a full restock of play to win sleeves and all of our playmat designs too. Thanks for watching. See you next week. I just want to point this out. If you still had Quark and didn't block my Timna, you could have possibly copied Tainted Pact and found Dasa's Oracle into Mono Consultation. So, just saying.